Hi, I'm Koya Webb, and this workout is gonna fine tune your entire body so you stay in shape all year round. This is gonna be your go-to workout so you stay fit and flexible. So whenever you're ready, meet me on your mat. So we're just gonna get started in child's pose. So come facing long ways on your mat, bring your knees wide, melt your heart down, and I want you to tint your fingers. Take a deep inhale and exhale, melt your heart towards the ground, shift your heart from side to side and relax your forehead down. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, bring your heart towards your navel as you lengthen out through your arms, and then completely relax your hands down. You can wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, circle your wrists, just start to settle. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. Again, deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. Whatever you were doing or thinking before this moment, completely let it go. Slowly round up one vertebra at a time. Come into tabletop position. Tuck your toes under. Round your back for cat and arch for cow. Again, round for cat and arch for cow. Slowly circle your hips and your head just feeling comfortable on your mat, ready to flow, ready to move, ready to hit it hard, and then go the opposite direction, just breathing and moving. And then slowly bring your knees together to touch and come back, back into child's pose, but this time wrap your arms around your thighs. Take a deep inhale and exhale. And deep inhale and exhale and plant your hands back in front of you knees hip distance apart we're going to strengthen your wrists because we're going to be doing a lot on your hands and your legs and you're just going to lift the palm of your hand pressing down fingertips and your knuckles and just lifting the palms up a couple times and then we're going to turn to the backs of your hands fingertips facing your knees and just lean back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Turn your fingertips to the side and just rock from side to side. So we're just strengthening your wrist. It's really important pretty much before any workout to strengthen your wrist. Just take the time to take care of your body, to fine tune your body. Even when you're gonna hit it hard, take the time to protect yourself. Turn your fingertips back towards your knees and then shift back a couple of times. A lot of times we jump right into our tougher workouts and it's okay, but just make sure you warm up properly especially if you feel like when you start, if you feel tightness, then just take a moment to stop and stretch. Pinky to pinky, turn the pinkies in, internally rotating the pinkies towards each other and slowly shift back a couple times. Breathing nice and easy. And then plant your hands down, tuck your toes, lift your hips, Downward facing dog, bend your right knee and your left, shift your weight from side to side, really turning the heart and getting a nice side body stretch on each side, really gazing underneath the armpit. So you feel a nice stretch all the way into your hip socket on each side, and then bending the knee, melting the heart all the way towards the thigh. So you really get the most out of this beginning stretch. And then slowly walk yourself up to the top of your mat, feet hip distance apart, grab opposite elbows, and just rock from side to side. Completely let your head go here. Chin is into your chest and you're completely relaxing. 
Release your arms down and round up one vertebra at a time. Feet together to touch. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, hands to heart center. Today we want to focus on knowing when to push through the challenge and knowing when we need to rest. So as we totally hit every part of our body, I want you to practice knowing when to push and knowing when to rest. Relax your hands down by your sides. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop back, flow through your vinyasa. You can modify it if you need to by bringing the knees down or using the knees to pick yourself up. Coming into downward facing dog, Really lengthen your dog, pressing through the hands, releasing the shoulders away from the ears, pressing down through the heels and come up high up on your tippy toes, bend your knees, melt your heart towards your thighs, and then slowly keep your heart there as you take your heels back down to lengthen your dog. Breathe easy here, take a deep inhale, and exhale, sigh it out. Another deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. Come up high up on your tippy toes. Bend your knees. Look between your hands and step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Get a nice stretch here. Exhale, forward fold. Really work on melting your core and your heart down towards your thighs and release your head last. So not worrying about rounding the back, but really trying to flatten the back onto your thighs as much as you can. Really lifting through the hips and melting the navel towards the spine and then the heart and then the head. And then slowly bend the knees and come up for chair pose. Take a deep inhale and exhale, sit lower. Bring your hands to heart center and twist to your right. Really use the elbow, the left elbow on the outside of your right knee to twist your torso. Option to stay here, open your arms wide. And you can stay here or you can try to find the bind. If you're binding, See if you can get your knees on the same plane and see if you can gaze up. Inhale, arms up, chair pose. Keep it low, slowly hands to heart center and twist to the other side again, using your elbow to twist your torso. Bring your hands to heart center, gazing up. Option is spread your arms wide or find the bind. And when you're reaching around, I like to scoop my hands around. This, this side is not as easy as the other side, so. <laughs> but take your time one day. As your shoulders start to open, you will make that connection. So we're really opening up the arms, opening up the legs, getting ready for our hit. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center and down. So we're gonna bring our hands to heart center and we're gonna do our first little hit here. We're gonna to come to warrior three, bending in the front leg, bend as much as you can and stand back up for one, two, three. You can put your hands down if you need to, four, five, six, or challenge yourself, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Step it back for crescent, inhale, arms up. Back knee goes down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back heel down, warrior two. Beautiful. Smile as you flow. <laughs> and then reverse your warrior. Back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, reach over the front toe for triangle pose, gazing up at the top hand. Take a deep inhale and exhale, lengthen, maybe coming out, weight out of the hand, using your strong legs and your core to hold you up. Back to warrior two. 
Good. We'll mill the hands down. Now here, we're gonna hit again with our chaturanga push-ups. So you have five here. Inhale down, exhale up for one, two, three, four, and five. Flow through your vinyasa, cobra or upward facing, ending and downward facing. Deep inhale and exhale. Five deep breaths here. In and out through your nose, that deep ujjayi breathing. Let the breath cleanse you as you reset for the other side. Come up high up on your tippy toes. Bend your knees, gaze between your hands. Step or hop. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. So we're gonna go in the opposite side, hands to heart center. Warrior three on the left leg. Flex the back foot. Inhale down, exhale up for one, two, three, Four, hands down if you need to. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Big step back for crescent. Inhale those arms up. Back knee goes down. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back heel is down. A warrior two. So anytime you need to readjust your legs and widen your stance, especially if you're losing your balance, is absolutely fine. So better safe. If your knees are cracking like mine, that's okay, that's normal. <laughs> the more that you do it, your body gets used to it. But as we start to lose our cartilage, you might hear a little grinding in there. Unless it's painful, you should be okay. Reverse your warrior. Keep that bend in the front knee. Back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, reach out over the front toe for triangle pose. You can start out not even touching the ground, just completely using the legs, shoulders down away from your ears, gazing up at that top hand. You're shifting all the way into the back leg so you feel that nice long stretch. Just breathe into it. Back to warrior two. All right, you ready to hit it? Bring it down, five push-ups, chaturanga push-ups here. For one, two, three, four, and five, inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Five deep breaths here. Take a deep inhale, first one. And exhale, sigh it out. Relax your head down. Go back to your ujjayi breathing to keep that heat in the body. Come up high up on the tippy toes. Bend the knees, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. All right, now we're gonna go to curtsy. Bring your hands to heart center. So a curtsy is just coming to the side and back up, coming to the side and back up. So we're gonna do that. You could just step to the side like I just did but I'm gonna add a little movement, a little um, hop. So know your base and where you're at, and let's do 10 together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I hopped a little and I stepped a little. You decide which one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, flow the urban vinyasa. Ending in downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale. 
and exhale. Another deep inhale. I know I'm giving it to you, but you got this. And exhale. High up on your tippy toes. Bend your knees. Step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. And down. Inhale, arms up. And from here, I want you to bring your legs out. We're going to do a little arm balance here, just adding it in. And you're going to come into crow pose. So you have a couple different ways you could do crow pose. Um, legs around the arms or knees into the armpits. You decide. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale as you lift up. Breathe freely here. Now from here, we're going to add a little hit. We're going to hop back to Chaturanga. So just try it. The first time might be a flop, but just see how you do. Just kick the feet back and flow through your vinyasa. Good. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll do that again if you flopped. <laughs> now come into plank position. Come onto your side and gaze up for side plank. We're gonna bring the knee to the elbow, elbow to the knee, and back out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, forward plank. As you go to the other side, we got 10. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And middle, you got five. One, two, three, four, and five. Flow through your vinyasa. Meet me in downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale. How you doing? <laughs> and exhale. You'll make it. Trust me, you'll make it. Just keep breathing. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Bring your toes together to touch. Right leg high to the sky. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Come up high up on the left toe. Look underneath your right armpit. Drop that foot behind you. Inhale down. And lift for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come back, bring that leg through, fall in triangle. Yay! <laughs> Hold it there. Or you can engage your core and lift the leg for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee, send it up. Oh yeah, and all the way through. Back knee is down, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands to heart center, and twist. All right, we get a breather now. <laughs> Arms wide, or find the bind. Gazing up, breathe. Let the breath settle. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Scoot the toes up two or three inches. Shift back, Ardha Hanuman, half split. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt. Breathe deep. If your heart is racing, it means you're doing a good job. My heart is racing too. <laughs> <sighs> Workouts are so great because in life we get challenged and the more we challenge ourselves on the mat, we're able to keep our peace and flow through, the more you'll be able to keep your peace in life and flow through when you're challenged. You won't react, get angry, frustrated. You learn peace, peace of mind. Inhale, lengthen. Bend the knee, step it back. You know the routine, five push-ups. Now you can do these on your knees as well for five, four, three, two, and one. And flow through your vinyasa. You're welcome to take a cobra instead of an up dog 
and you're welcome to use your knees at any time. Feet come together to touch, left leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, look underneath the armpit. You're high up on that right toe, hold. Slowly bring that foot behind you. You got 10. Down and up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring that leg up and through, fallen triangle. Hold it there, and you're welcome to stay here or lift that leg for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lift the leg back and step it through. Back knee is down, low lunge. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center, hand twist. How you hanging in there? Hands to heart center. You can. Open the arms wide, find the bind, whatever feels good. <laughs> Deep inhale, catch your breath, breathe. In these moments where you get to find the calm, take a deep inhale and exhale to your breath starts to normalize. Awesome. Come back center, scoot your toes up two or three inches, shift the weight back, inhale, lengthen, exhale, melt. Breathe deep here, completely let go, melting the heart towards the thigh, flexing the toe back towards your face. How much can you let go of your thoughts and just connect with your breath? Bend into the knee, bring your left foot back to meet your right. Five push-ups, inhale down, exhale up for five, four, three, two, and one. Flow through, inhaling for your vinyasa, exhaling as you settle back into downward facing. Take a deep inhale, sigh it out. I find when you inhale and sigh it out, especially on the first one, it helps regulate your breathing. So welcome to try that. And if you feel yourself overheating, it's also a good way to release some of the heat. And then go back to ujjayi breathing, which is in and out through your nose. Okay, we got a chance to work on that crow pose again. Come up high up on your toes, bend your knees, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Bring your feet about hip distance apart. We're gonna place the hand down and try for crow pose again. Stay into crow pose as long as you can. Maybe you wanna hold crow for a good minute here. Maybe you wanna straighten your arms or play with going up into a headstand or a handstand or anything you wanna do, just allow your body to feel, allow your body to breathe, engage your core, lift your heart. How much space can you make? And then shoot it back <laughs> whenever you're ready. Meet in downward facing dog. I don't know why that's funny to me, but it's funny. <laughs> All right, from here, we're gonna come into plank. Plank position, hold it, and we're gonna work on our balance. So lift your left leg and your right arm, woohoo, <laughs> and bring it in and back out for five, four, three, two, and one, woo, so hard. Other side, elbow, knee, and lengthen out for five, four, yikes, <laughs> three, two, and one. Downward facing dog. That one's hard for me, but it's really good to work on your balance and coordination. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Bring your toes together to touch. Right leg high to the sky. Shift your weight forward, knee to nose. Step it through. 
low lunge. All right. So now we're going to do a little low lunge get up. So we're going to go from here all the way up to high knee, back down to low lunge. <laughs> we're going to do 10 of those on each side. Then we'll calm down. All right. This is your last thing. Well, standing up <laughs> and then we'll get down on the mat. So you got 10 for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, hands down. You know the deal, push-ups for five, four, three, two, and one, flow through. Back down, we're gonna go right to the other side. Left leg is up, and step it through. Oh, wait a minute, opposite side. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do it on this side. Wait a minute, I was right. Don't worry. Just make sure you do the opposite side, okay? All right, inhale, arms up. Exhale to heart center. You're gonna bring it up for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms down, five push-ups. Inhale down, exhale up for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, child's pose. Deep inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Oh yeah, feels so good. Rock from side to side. Bring your palms together to the back of your neck. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly bring yourself up. All right, so now that we're down, we're going to really kind of work out those hips a little bit with some camel thrusts and really work your glutes. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower down. Good. We're going to bring the right knee forward. Left leg back. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, place your forehead on your hands. Completely relax. Rock your hips from side to side. Give your body a little thank you. It's working hard for you. Option to stay down, or you can come up for your pigeon variations. Bend the back leg, bring the foot in towards your hip. You can come stay here or come around for a mermaid. Breathing in each position. You can stay here or flip your grip and take a couple breaths in King Pigeon. And then when you're ready, slowly come back down to Recline Pigeon. Deep inhale and exhale. And deep inhale and exhale. Slowly plant your hands down. You're just going to switch sides. All done. Just really stretching those hips and thighs out. Inhale, lift. Exhale, relax. Hands underneath the head. Let the body settle. Option to stay here, or if you like your pigeon variations on this side, bend the back knee, bring the heel towards the hips. 
Bring that hand around for a mermaid if you like. Three to five breaths here. Really rotating the heart to the front of your mat. And if you want to go for king, you can flip your grip. Use a strap if you want, but just don't force yourself because you already had a hard practice. So this is more so just stretching out a little bit deeper if you'd like. And then slowly relax back down. Deep inhale and exhale, let it go. And slowly make your way up and come around. If you have time, I really suggest that you spend a little time in Shavasana or meditation and just allow your body to release and let go. Um, and remember, this is your daily practice. It might be hard if it's your first or second time, but the more that you practice, the more you will embody it, the more you'll be able to breathe in it, the more you'll be able to do your exercises. So until next time, take care of yourself. Bye.